What we have behind me is a eastern mud and musk turtle habitat. This is an unusual habitat in that not many people collect mud and musk turtles. They're a strange species. They're probably more related to snapping turtles than they are to other turtles because they have such a nasty disposition. But for some reason, uh, I like the mud and musk turtles. They're quite fun to keep. For the mud and musk turtle ecosystem that I have, uh, I keep it as a, as, it's a pretty muddy uh, ecosystem. Uh, in addition to having a sandy bottom, there's a duckweed and other types of plankton, which creates a lot of uh, shade for the turtles. Uh, there's a lot of vegetation in the tank, including uh, sphagnum moss, which uh, these turtles seem to love to hide in. When I had first gotten uh, musk turtles and uh, mud turtles, I didn't really know uh, how to keep them. I kept them like other turtles, which were kept in a uh, regular freshwater environment uh, with a lot of water and a lot of light. Uh, but these turtles never seemed to be happy. They seemed to be the least satisfied, and I, and I couldn't figure out what was wrong, what it was about that turtle that it wasn't happy in its ecosystem. And what I discovered is that these turtles really love to hide and they really love to move around in a way that nobody or nothing can find them. They spend their time deep in the sphagnum moss and they only come out for feeding and you only see them when they feed. But otherwise you would never know they are there. And I can tell that they're really happy in this ecosystem because of the way they behave. They are really engaged with their environment. They seem to be very much aware of everything around them. They use their tongues. They have a terrific sense of smell. Uh, they have voracious appetites. They love to eat and they are very, very active.